Hi, I'm like the Valley Girl. I live in Silicon Valley, the heart of innovative technology. I know where all these awesome companies are, but how the heck did they get here? That's what I'm here to find out. I'm like the Valley Girl. What do you do? Hi, I'm like the Valley Girl. Sometimes I wish I could be like Superman and fly. And then other times I think, Maybe it'd be cooler to be like Batman and drive a really cool car. Our next guest couldn't decide, so he does both. Please welcome Mr. Elon Musk of Tesla Motors and SpaceX. Hi, Elon. How Hi. you doing? Good. How are you? <laughs> Good. How to see? Tell me, what is an entrepreneur to you? You know, I think somebody that is a, probably somewhat of a generalist, even if though they may have specific strengths in certain areas, technical, business, or, or whatever. And generalist, you mean just kind of like see the bigger picture? Mm, certainly see the bigger picture, but I mean in terms of skills. I actually think most people can be a generalist, but being a generalist means doing some things that you don't necessarily like doing. I don't like doing things that I don't like doing. <laughs> right. <laughs> what does SpaceX do? Uh, SpaceX, we uh, design and manufacture rockets and spacecraft. So are you working with NASA or you're kind of yeah. replacing NASA? No, no, no NASA is our biggest customer. And what made you want to start this kind of a company? Well, when I was in college, there were three areas that I thought would most affect the future of humanity. Uh, that was uh, the internet. Um, you were right about that. Yeah. <laughs> but originally, I applied to Netscape. Um, they didn't respond to me, so I had to start a company. Bet you're sorry now, Netscape. <laughs> uh, the transition to a sustainable uh, energy economy. Okay. Um, and uh, the third was uh, space exploration, in particular the extension of life beyond Earth. What do you personally think is out there that we can find by, you know, launching rockets into space? Well, I think there's a lot that we can find. Aliens? Uh, um, unlikely in our solar system. Uh, it's possible. Maybe some pink ones. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mars is red. It's pinkish. Um, <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I think there's, it's not a question of, of necessarily finding things, although I do think that, that finding things is, is important. Um, but it's really the, it's making life multiplanetary. Growing. Like getting a summer home on Saturn or something, kind of thing. Um, it's really uh, about uh, backing up the biosphere. I think we need to take precautionary measures to ensure that life continues, at least life as we know it. And, um, and the right way to do that is to, to back up the biosphere to another planet. Now, yeah. well, tell me about the first launch, the Falcon 1, was that the first one? Falcon 1 is a small rocket, and that was kind of our, our test yes. article. Okay. We, we got to orbit last year with Falcon 1. Okay. And then Falcon 9 is a much bigger rocket. What happened to the, all the Falcons in the middle? Well, the, the, the number refers to the number of engines. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Falcon 9 is nine, nine, nine engines on the base. Yeah. Okay. So how does it work when it takes off? Like, what makes it go? It, it Actually, expels I have some... high velocity gas from the. Uh... Here, you can you can um, use this to demonstrate. Sure. <laughs> well, uh, it makes use of Newton's uh, third law. Okay. Um, and. Uh, Is that gravity? No, that's uh, uh, for every action. There's an equal and opposite reaction. Oh, right. Okay. When you shoot gas out the at the end, um, it pushes the rocket in the opposite direction. Okay. Uh, conservation of momentum, basically. Okay, so you're shooting gas, and then it takes off. Yeah. yeah. What do you think is the coolest thing about um, the rockets that you guys are making? The, the, the coolest thing about our rockets is that they have the potential to uh, be a, a massive cost improvement in space transportation. Oh, so, so it's, like, it's like cheap transport to space. The, the only way to get to an order magnitude or, or, or beyond in terms of improvement is to make it reusable. So oh, right okay. now, so we make reusable, recyclable rockets. Reusable, well, just like any mode of transport, uh, cars, planes. They um, reuse all the parts and. The... No, no. You, well, you you do multiple trips, right? Oh, you don't right. have to buy a car for a single trip. Oh, um, right. <laughs> um, if a 747 ha could only be used for one flight, okay, it would be a very expensive flight. Well, hey, do you wanna do you wanna launch it one more time for us? <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> I think it's time for a break. We'll be right back with more fun and Elon Musk after this. And we're back with Elon Musk of Tesla Motors and SpaceX. So Elon, tell me a little bit about Tesla. Well, Tesla, uh, we make electric cars. The Tesla Roadster is the only highway-capable electric car for sale in the United States and Europe. Not just the only sports car, 
Uh, it's the only one of any kind. It's comparable to a, a you know, Porsche 911, actually faster than a Porsche 911. Okay. Um, and uh, 0 to 60 is 3.9 seconds, um, and it's got very good handling, and it looks pretty cool. Have you it, made a pink one yet? Uh, you can have any color you want. Yeah, really? Sure. Actually, I think we have made a pink one. You made a pink one? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So tell me about the S car. Uh, we've just uh, unveiled the Model S. We wanted people to know what the car was going to be like, and I thought rather than wait for two years, I'd rather give people kind of a uh, a preview. A teaser. Yeah, yeah. Well, I have an S car teaser for you. Okay. So I've heard people have been saying, "Look at that S car go." Right. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> so I have some S car go for you. Okay, great. Do you like S car go? I don't. Oops, I'll order it often, but I've certainly had it. <laughs> I've never had it. I don't know if I'm going to like it. Uh, it doesn't taste quite like you'd expect this meal to taste. like chicken. Very <laughs> good. That was a new experience for me. Yeah. It's chewy. It's chewy. Well, it's, it's good. A nice, so, uh, nice job uh, making them. What does the S car and S car go have in common? Not a lot. Uh, S car go are, are, are uh, slow, uh, which we are not. Uh, mm. <laughs> oh. I, I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to think about the fact Surprise that I just singer. ate a snail. <laughs> so it was pretty good. I just can't think about the fact that I've seen them snailing, slugging along or whatever. Right. Um, so, okay, so your cars you are... You just ate a bug. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to forget you said that. So are your customers complaining about gas prices? The price of gas is not the, the main driver of somebody buying a $100,000 sports car. Um, well, so do you put gas in the car? No, it's pure electric. You just oh, charge it. You okay. plug it in like a hair dryer. So, your cars are all electric. Yeah. So how does it work? You plug it in like a hair dryer. Yeah, the charge is built into the car. Okay. So just like you plug in a laptop or a cell phone or whatever, you just plug it in. And then you need really long extension cords. No, most people have plugs in the garage. I mean, like when it drives, then you probably need a really long extension cord. <laughs> um, you could take that approach. Uh, okay. It's inadvisable. <laughs> uh, the range is uh, almost 250 miles. Oh um, wow. The battery, yeah. Okay, explain to me, I have a hybrid. Why is it better than a hybrid? When you say you have a hybrid, you have something which is really maybe 2% electric and 98% gasoline. Mm -hmm. um, and you need to sort of say, okay, if, if all the world had your, your car, well, we'd still be 100% dependent on gasoline. And the, the advantage of all electric is that you can then generate your, your electricity from re renewable means like solar, wind, geothermal, and that's a sustainable future. But what's the coolest thing about your Tesla? Probably the acceleration. When you're on the freeway and you want to pass someone, you don't have to downshift or anything. It's just instant acceleration. So you're like a firefly on the freeway. It's just amazingly wow. zippy. Where do you think um, Tesla is going to be in about 10 years? Well, uh, hopefully at that point we have a complete you know, array of products from sports cars all the way down to economy cars. And we'll be in 10 years. I would hope we're making millions of cars in 10 years. So I have a little activity for you. Okay. Are you ready? Sure. Okay. It is called the Fabulous Cup. It's full of fabulous terms. And basically what I want you to do is go through and define them as fast as you can. And you have one minute to try and define them all. Ready? Sure. Set. Go. Aliens. Well, I used to be one until I got my green card. <laughs> uh, Falcon 1. It's a rocket made by SpaceX, initial rocket. Golf cart. Not a Tesla. Roadster, that's definitely a Tesla. Solar City, the future of solar powered America. Triplets, I have them, they're awesome. I recommend them. Uh, CEO, yeah, I do that a lot. Um, <laughs> avocado, <laughs> it's great with guacamole. Um, impossible, uh, my middle name, I suppose. <laughs> PayPal, uh, best way to pay on the internet. Electricity, the future of transport, that's it. Awesome! That was pretty fast. For that, you get a, because you're so green, right. you have a fabulous green keychain for all your cool cars. And I don't know how the spaceship works, but Thanks. maybe you can, you know, use it for those keys too. All right, cool. <laughs> well, thank you so, so much for coming out here, all Elon. Right. This was a lot of fun. I'm like the Valley Girl. <laughs> and I'm like Elon Musk. Thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.